the title of the book is Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Um, spoiler alert, she's not completely fine. She's a 29-year-old woman. She lives in a city. She has a job. She is a character who has learned how to survive life, but not necessarily how to live it to the full. I read a newspaper article about loneliness, and unusually this article contained an interview with a young woman, and she said she'd often leave work on Friday night at five o'clock and wouldn't talk to another human being until she went back to work on Monday morning. I was really struck by that because I hadn't really heard of a young person's perspective on it before and it was very contrary to the media portrayal of people in their 20s often that life's just one big long party, nights out, very social. So from, from that little seed, the character and then the story of Eleanor Oliphant emerged. When we first encounter Eleanor, she, she's, not, she's not in a bad place in, in many ways, given what we come to learn about her life experiences to date. But she's, she's surviving, but she isn't living as full a life as she could live. And that's the, the story, the arc that she goes through over the course of the novel, is to come to understand how much more life can offer her and how much more she can offer to other people. I wanted to show that, that um, very small acts of kindness, tiny little things often, can be completely transformative if they happen at the right time. And often we have no idea of the impact that our small acts of kindness can have. It's difficult to forge meaningful connections with people sometimes, at any age. It doesn't matter if you're 22 or 92. It's finding those meaningful connections that, that's important, I think. I'm not, I'm not a psychologist, I, I don't know, I'm not qualified to go into it in any great depth, but um, that, certainly with the character of Eleanor, that's what I was trying to show. Thank you.